what is up guys my birthday is coming up it is the 5th right now and i turn 21 december 15th and i wrote down like in this little notebook um like 21 things that i've learned and yeah i'm just going to talk about it with y'all let's get into the 21 things so the first thing that I want to talk about or the first thing that I learned is basically wear what you want. Literally no one cares what you wear and you only live once so like don't wear like boring clothes. Like wear, like if you want to dress the nines every single day, do it. If you want to wear sweatpants and sweatshirts and that's what you feel comfortable in, do it. Honestly, whatever you feel comfortable in wear wear it like that's if that's your style just do it um no one really cares what you wear no one's gonna remember honestly like no one cares just simply wear whatever you want the second thing is people aren't supposed to be in your life forever it took a long time for me to learn this i like people staying in my life forever and i want them to stay in my life forever i can't control other people's actions and other people's like views on me and like opinions and whatnot so like i try but People just aren't supposed to be there. Some people are just like chapters. Some people are just pages. Some people are just sentences. Like people aren't supposed to be with you from kindergarten to death. Like <laughs> I will say I do have one friend that I've literally met in like first grade or something and we're like still friends now. So number three is everyone is on their own path. Everyone has different like career choices, um, things they want to do with their lives like everyone has different views on life i mean that's really all i have to say about that like everyone is doing their own thing simple and you don't have to be doing what everybody else is doing either like you can do you can diverge like you can go to a different path if that's what you want to do simply just do whatever you want um the fourth thing is feeling is better than not feeling one thing about me is i never know what to say to a person that's like sad or like like just that stuff like i feel like i honestly don't have a great grasp on my emotions. I don't know, I feel like being numb is not really a good thing, but sometimes it's necessary, sometimes it's definitely not. Um, it's definitely better to feel things than to feel nothing. Um, and I was in a state of feeling nothing for a while. Just remember that feeling something is a lot better than feeling nothing. That's really all I have to say about it. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to like describe it. Like it's, like you're almost numb to emotions. You're almost like numb to anybody else's emotions. You're numb to your own like feelings. And it, I don't know, it's just better to feel things than not feel things. Um, the fifth one is the past does not define you. I have people that still have that image of me in their head from like ninth grade, like ninth grade in high school. I am now a junior in college. I am not the same person I was in ninth grade. 100% you are not the same person that someone met in eighth grade and now you're like your senior year of high school like no like the past does not define who you are now you are constantly growing you're const constantly changing you're constantly learning the past just doesn't define you and if anyone is trying to tell you that it does it doesn't like, I am who I am right now um, I'm not who I am yesterday I'm not who I was 10 years ago I'm not who I was five years ago yesterday I'm gonna probably keep changing tomorrow and furthermore like you are who you are in the present number six is if they want to treat you well they will this also took me a while to learn if people like you if people care about you if people they'll show it like if you're confused they obviously don't like you if someone likes you they're gonna make it like apparent like if that, that's with boys that's with friendships that's with just girlfriends boyfriends that's with parents like any type of relationship you have if someone likes you they're gonna let you know like there won't be a question in your head if someone likes you there's always a question in your head when someone doesn't like you and we don't have time for that so next um number seven is people will always talk about you no matter what you do so live your freaking life like it doesn't matter if you're doing good it doesn't matter what you're doing like people are going to talk about you regardless whether it's good things bad things literally anything we love we love fans people are gonna talk about you so do whatever you want don't care what they say especially if they're not in your life if they're not in your life right now why do you care what they say um another one that's really important is learn how to be your own best friend nine times out of ten there will not be someone who like either can or want to do things with you so if you're comfortable doing like things by yourself which honestly i didn't start doing things by myself until this year 
because I went to go see the sunrise by myself and it was honestly on accident because I was planning to go with a friend but she texted me that morning and was like I'm like sick like I like have, I have been throwing up like all night like there's no way I can do that and I was like yeah no that's perfectly fine so I just decided to like go by myself and it was amazing like I loved it um honestly take this with a grain of salt though because I know some like it's dangerous being a girl out here um it's definitely like some things you can do by yourself and some things I would recommend not doing you are comfortable by yourself you're it'll change your perception of like being in a relationship and like being friends with like certain people like if you're comfortable doing it by yourself like you are now competing with me i can provide what i like so are you gonna add to my life or not um another thing that i learned basically this semester is saying no is okay it's okay to say no and it's perfectly okay to say yes we're adults most of my the people in my life right now are either my age or above my age like we have jobs we have school we have pets we have friends we have family like we have a bunch of things going on in life especially during exam season anyways we're not even gonna get into that if you can't do things that should be perfectly fine if you can do things that's also great like that's amazing i don't think like people shouldn't get mad at you for like not being able to do things like we're all adults we have a bunch of stuff going on if we can't do something it's not because i don't like you it's simply because i'm busy if you think someone is cute tell them tell them life is too short if you go up to any boy nine times out of ten they're gonna either like give you their snapchat or their number if you tell them they're cute or at least say thank you like and honestly if they don't say like anything good you probably won't even see them again that's how i feel about half of the people in college like i'm never gonna see this person again if i don't say something now when will my chance be never so go do it also along with that confidence is key guys barely get hit on i swear like so if you are a girl and you go ask for a guy's nap nine times out of ten they're giving it to you um another thing which i didn't necessarily i learned this like way before i turned 20 or 19 or whatever um music definitely heals i cannot describe how much i love music i love rap i love country i love hip-hop i love jazz i like i have literally no type of like music that i'm like obsessed with i literally have a playlist and it, it can take you from like sad happy angry confident da -da -da -da. like i have a playlist for like every emotion music heals um honestly sometimes when i'm stressed out if i just lay on the ground like of my room and put on some music and like dim the lights it's so healing it's so like stress relieving too and i highly recommend it so you're never gonna grow if you stay in your comfort zone it's just not gonna happen like if i stayed in my hometown i feel like i wouldn't be the person i am today like moving out or trying new things or doing things by yourself which you haven't done or like anything like that i just highly recommend getting out of your comfort zone and trying something new or moving out of your hometown or anything along those lines really number 13 if it's out of your control let it be you, i've learned this because i'm one that really likes to be in control of most things i would say most things there's things that i can't control like how a person feels about me like how other people feel i can't control that if someone doesn't like me there's no way that i can make them like me if that makes sense like you're not gonna make someone like you by putting in more effort like there's de like there's no chance of that like it's just not gonna happen what did ariana grande say thank you next number 14 is trust your gut oh my god i cannot tell you how many things have happened to where if i trusted my gut i it whoa Actually, i'm gonna tell you all this story so i have so i was in a relationship not really a relationship like a situationship i guess um a few years ago and um, I had a dream about like him cheating on me and when I woke up literally the next day I found out he was cheating on me call it whatever you want but I either can predict the future or that was my gut telling me yep this is happening this is 100% happening you need to stop talking to this guy so I did <laughs> simple because I listened to my gut another one is move in silence um, you don't need to post everything that you do. I definitely don't. Even it, even though, like, I have a YouTube channel and, like, my Instagram and da-da-da. But I definitely still don't post everything that I do. Like, there are certain things that I will not be posting ever. 
I will never post like something that I'm working towards. Like I'm not posting it until I've accomplished it. Like for example, me getting into JMU. I posted nothing about JMU like at all until I knew I was in. So the next one is don't trust a person's personality the first time you meet them because everyone's putting up like their best, they're putting their best foot forward when they meet somebody. Just don't trust, like if someone's really, really nice, do not trust that, if, especially if it's like your first time meeting them. Um, the next one is be nice to everyone. You never know who's gonna be your boss one day. You never know who's gonna be your coworker one day. You never know who's gonna be the president of the United States, I guess, if that's what you wanna do. Um, like you just never know who's gonna be like an important part of your life like down the road so i'm i personally try to do this a lot like i'm just nice to everyone because i honestly don't even see like a reason not to be like you have no idea what that person's going to like it costs nothing to be nice so just be nice treat people like people like it's not hard quality over quantity um this goes with like friends for sure like i'd rather have which i do um, I'd rather have like four or five like a main group of girls that I hang out with rather than a bunch of like acquaintances. Another one is you can only be better through action. Like if you say you're gonna like stop drinking monsters or which I'm not going to. Um, like if you say like oh I'm gonna like start doing this da 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 like I'm not trusting that until you do it. Did we did we make a move? Did we physically do something? No. Oh okay okay like we like you can't do better if you're not doing anything like just saying it that basically goes with like trust actions more than whatever comes out of someone's mouth number 20 jesus <laughs> um is say yes it basically goes with that one that's like um it basically goes with what i said before saying no is okay and saying yes is okay um but i will encourage more yeses just because life is short you only live once all those sayings but like it's true it's so true like it's cheesy but it's so true when you're old and can't do anything what are you gonna look back on the memories and what if you don't have any so say yes to it make some memories just simply for the memories like when you look back on your life you're not gonna be like wow I all I did was like study and get A's like congratulations that's great that's amazing but me personally I want to experience life the world i don't know i just want to like make a lot of memories so i can look back on my life and be like wow i had fun i had fun it was a fun time all right 21 everything happens for a reason which i believe everything happens for a reason i mean you don't have to but i definitely think everything happens for a reason i think people are cut out of your life for a reason i think people are brought into your life for a reason i don't know what those reasons are but I think everything does happen for a reason, and maybe there is an end goal to all of this, and maybe there's not. But, I mean, I like to believe that. I like to believe that, like, if I get heartbroken, it's because something better is coming. If I'm not friends with somebody anymore, it's because I'm gonna make new friends. I take everything with, like, a glass half full rather than a glass half empty, if that makes sense. But yeah, that's all. That's all I had. Those are my 21 things. And I'm excited to turn 21. But yeah, I'm excited to see what this new year holds. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And maybe you learned something. Maybe you'll take something away from this video. I don't know. Thanks for listening to me talk. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.